Antioch is on the rise and neighbors are getting the chance to have a say in its future. Even though the city has purchased the old Global Mall at the crossings, they still need to figure out what to put there. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell is joining us live from Antioch this morning. And Aaron, we know Councilwoman Joy Stiles is hosting a series of meetings for the public and today's is going to focus on transportation, right? Yeah, Ben, you know, they got to figure out how people will get to and from the site because a lot of people rely on public transportation. And WeGo's president, he will be there discussing ideas with the community members. Now, we do know that they will be looking at other cities and looking at how they revitalize malls. And Councilwoman Joy Stiles says all of the community members, they are invited out to attend today's meeting. Now, in previous meetings, people have brought up the idea to build co-working spaces for nonprofits, also the need for daycare and aftercare for children. We know for sure that Vanderbilt University Medical Center, they've signed a letter of intent to negotiate a long-term lease of at least 600,000 square feet for health care related services. Also part of the property will be dedicated to establishing a permanent art space called the Antioch Performing Arts Center, which will host programs like dance, visual arts, and theater. And Councilwoman Stiles thinks the art center will be a chance to inspire kids. We get to bring arts to our kids. Many of our kids are not going downtown. They're not going to TPAC. Um, they're not going to Nashville Ballet. And so now we have an opportunity to bring those entities out to the Southeast and expose our kids to art in a whole new way. Now that meeting is happening at six o'clock this evening at the Southeast Community Center. Now this project is expected to take years to complete, but we'll be sure to keep you updated every step of the way.